Welcome to the Bluebeam Review Tutorial by Brighter Graphics. In this video, we will see how to use a very efficient and smart three-point radius in Bluebeam Review. Let's see how you can do so. After opening Review 21 on your desktop, go to the File menu and open your desired PDF. Zoom in to the desired drawing region. For instance, you need to measure the radius of any circular region or shape like the one on this PDF. Go to the Measurements tab and click the drop-down alongside Radius Measurement. Next, click the three-point radius option to measure the radius of any circular region seamlessly. Now, mark two anchor points anywhere on the surface of the circle by simply clicking and a radius measurement will appear. Before marking the three ARD anchor point, adjust the radius according to the shape. If you move beyond the circular surface, the radius will enlarge, and if you move inside the circular surface, it will decrease in size. Find your desired point on the surface of the circle and mark your last anchor point to calculate the radius using the three-point radius measurement. And here it is. Now, use the Select tool to select your radius measurement and go to the Measurements tab. As radius is calculated as a length, change the length unit to your desired unit of measurement. For instance, let's change it to meters. It will start showing the radius of your selected unit of measurement. If you go to the markups list, you can find your radius measurement below, which you can use for other calculations. We have already calculated a radius measurement for the same shape using the simple radius measurement tool. Let's place it above the circular region to see both radius measurements side by side. Zoom in to adjust and align accordingly. You can watch our other video tutorial on radius measurement in Bluebeam Review to see how it works. And here are both radius measurements side by side. Both measurements are listed in the markups list as radius measurements and show the same magnitude of 13 meters that you can use to extend your calculations by creating custom columns in the markups list. This is it for today. Don't forget to watch our other videos on review measurements and learn different techniques to scale your workflows. For more Bluebeam tips and tricks, stay connected with Brighter Graphics your go-to partner for all things Bluebeam.